on Uncle Marcus. They have a game category on Twitch.tv. Uh, Edward uh, Julian XP, Hannes the Lord, Lev Vindicator, AJ B Socks, Tanti Deli New, and Rick's Marionette. Welcome back, welcome. <gasps> bro, a bro. Settings. Streamer mode. Pause choices. I kind of want to play with this because I need a little bit more time to think. Uh. But I also don't want to be a cuck, you know. Right. Streamer difficulty. <laughs> right, I'm not gonna be a cuck. I'm not gonna be a cuck. I might turn out bipolar, but at least we're not a cuck. Warning, the following content contains infrequent discussion and the picture of blood, violence and suicide and may not be suitable for younger audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Alright juicers, you know the drill. Hi mom. I'm not gonna make the virtual quiz tonight. Yes, I know it's your birthday and we do it every year. And I realise that it starts in a couple of seconds. Yes, yes, I'm an adult now and I make my own choices. And I shouldn't be petrified of telling my mum how I really feel. Incoming video. Is my webcam in a good place? Hi, Uncle Marcus. I didn't expect to hear from you. Hey, kid. Listen, I'm really sorry that I missed you at the family meeting last week. Work had this big case, and I, I tried to tell them that it was my last chance to see you. It's okay. It's okay. I understand. I know, but I, I really wanted to see you before you went back to LA. I've not seen you in so long. I'm sorry, too. More than you can possibly believe. What's up? Did something happen at the meeting? I mean, other than the We Hate Marcus Club shouting at you about how they could run the business better than you. Yeah. Something did happen, and that's why I needed to talk to you, Abby. I need your help. Yeah, of course. Anything. You know that. Um, what do you want me to do? I need you to investigate a murder. Oh, this is a prank, right? I wish. M murder? Who's been killed? Me. Huh? I... I don't... I don't understand. I've been poisoned. Abby, I'm dying. And it was someone at the family meeting. The family? No. <laughs> no. My doctors have confirmed it. It's the only possible time it could have happened. Someone who was at the family meeting poisoned me. I don't know who, and I don't know how. But they did. But can't they treat you? Can't they- They don't know what the poison was. They're working on it, but they can't start treating me until they know. Well, there must be something that they can do. I did a lot of hard living in the 80s, kiddo. My body ain't what it used to be. And if they were to treat me with the wrong thing, that could kill me. Sorry, kiddo. How... how long... How long have I got? They say it's hours. This can't be real. That's why I need your help, hours? Abby. Oh, I need shit. you to find out who did this tonight. Me? No, I... I can't. I mean... How? <laughs> the quiz! Everyone's gonna be there, Abby. You need to question them. Find out who in the family wants me dead. What if... what if they find out what I'm doing? What... what will they think? Abby, I'm dying. Who cares what they think? Let me ask you a question, kid. Why are you working in law? Because, because mom, the family, they decided that that's what I should do. Exactly. And if you weren't part of this fucked up family and you weren't still looking for their approval, what would you be doing? You know what? <laughs> yeah, I know what. I just want you to say it again to make sure you haven't forgotten. I want to design games. So you need to shake them off, Abby. This whole so rotten family, like I did. <laughs> well, you didn't shake them off too well if one of them's trying to kill you. Okay, you got, you got a point there, kiddo. <sighs> oh, shit. Mum's calling me. Don't answer it. 
Come on, Abby, ignore her, please. She knows how to leave a message. Classic. See? Wasn't that so hard? That felt weird. You know, your mom gave me a big pitch at the meeting. Told me that I should be selling my share to the rest of the family. I told her dad left me the business and they would get my share only when they pried it from my cold, dead hands. I just kind of thought they'd wait a few years. <laughs> they would, they would never. You don't know that, Abby. Look, I've been having a lot of research done recently for my autobiography, and this family has got secrets, believe me. I wouldn't put anything past them. Well, I should really get to the quiz before mom kills me. That wasn't gonna be a joke. I know. You can do this. I believe in you, Abby. You know them. You know what makes them tick, right? Use that to your advantage. What if I screw it up? Well, I am betting my life on that not happening. Okay, I'll try. I'll be here, listening. And I'll help as much as I can. Remember, Abby. Find the poison, find the proof. Find the killer. In that order, that sounds rough. I just don't understand why there always has to be this big song and dance about Flick's birthday. This isn't just about me, June. It's about us, the family, spending quality time together. And I'm sorry we don't do the same thing on your birthday. He's the culprit. Sure anyone really remembers when it is. Hi. He looks oh, special. Oh, Abby. Is that the big entrance you made us sit around for? Sorry, Mum. Right. Now we're all here together. Is there something everyone would like to say to me, considering what day it is? Well, we're all here, aren't we? What more do you want? A bloody parade? Want me to pull some fireworks out of my asshole? I thought you'd be thanking me, June. Perfect excuse for a drink. What's your reason every other day of the week? You girls are as bad as each other. Pull your Forcing camera time. down, down. That better? Perfect, Mummy. I think. We should all sing Mum Happy Birthday. Oh, Lottie, don't be so crass. Happy birthday is so bloody depressing. I don't even like the phrase. Do you know uh, what they say? Super saying? cringe oh, as well. <laughs> when people sorry, sing you happy birthday. Sorry. That's fucking. Isn't that delightful? That's fucking the worst in the world. Ah, uh, can everyone hear me? Great. Now listen, I actually think the birthdays are a really good time to do a little bit of a privilege audit. You know, we're really take a look. Happy birthday, Mum. 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 And that's why they invented the mute button. So, where's Bradley the bedroom boy? Bradley, Her Royal Highness Auntie Felicity requests your presence. So do you want to get your pallid features in front of a webcam? Oh, nice of you to dress up for the occasion, Bradley. Oh, don't you want to wish your auntie Zorin Akzuri? Uh, I don't know what that is. But, I mean, if this is about your birthday... If you I... say one syllable about birthdays just being a day closer to death, I will mute you like I muted your brother. <sighs> yeah, but that's what birthdays are, though. Signposts pointing towards the grave, you know? <sighs> Let's get on with the quiz before I mute you all. Hasn't anyone got something nice to say? Uh, happy birthday, Mum. What? Oh, Abby. <laughs> Completely forgotten you were there. Anyway, now, down to the first order of business. Whose turn is it to ask the first round of questions? Well, fine. Well, we'll have to pick someone. Who hasn't done one recently? Me. Not you. Abby, come talk to me a second. Boy, they can't even pretend to like each other for five minutes, can they? I really don't think I could do this. Look, it's only asking questions. You know them. You just need to figure out how to get them talking. Right, and start simple. Just go back in there and see if you can figure out whose round is first. It's just like gathering whose evidence. Whose round is first? Just give it what a shot. What does that mean? Didn't mute. <laughs> okay. 
Look, I'm sorry, okay? This part of East Africa, it's amazing, but 4G isn't a strong point. But all I'm saying is I might cut in and out. Well, I'm not going first, it's my birthday. Your mom's on the warpath. I would just leave her alone for now. I think your best chance of success is... I don't get what this quiz is. Probably speaking with Lottie, Toby. Or if you're feeling brave enough, Auntie June. But Mama, maybe because it's your birthday, that's why you should go first? No. Well, how about nobody goes first, and then we can all just fuck off to bed? <sighs> Hi, babe. You OK? Yeah, uh, fine, thanks, babe. So, did you go to the meeting? What? The, uh, <laughs> the meeting? The one that was at Auntie Jean's house? Oh, the family business thing. Yeah, I went to that. Oh, my God. So much drama. <laughs> really? What happened? <laughs> Mum is raging about it. Before you came on, she said she didn't want to talk about it. And then she went off on Uncle Marcus for like a solid five minutes. Honestly, if this quiz doesn't go smoothly, I think she's gonna actually have a meltdown. Like she's so embarrassing when she's like that. I'm like, calm down, take a seat, keep your wig on. <laughs> so why was mum so upset? What actually happened at the meeting? Oh, babe, too much. You had to be there. Well, can you tell me what I missed? You know what? I think I'm just gonna tell mom I'm gonna go first. If she has to wait any longer for this quiz to start, I think she might actually have like a genuine full on breakdown. See you back in there, babe. Well, that was something. Uh oh. God, that was really bad, wasn't it? Yeah, that wasn't so good. Maybe try something different next time, but that's okay. You learn from it. Right? Come on. Hey, come on. The quiz is about to start. Here we go. Yeah, what the fuck is the quiz? Yes, but Lottie, this is my birthday. Yeah, and the questions are for you. They're just about me. I want to play an actual quiz, Lottie. Not spend my evening blowing smoke up your ass. It'll be so good, I promise. Okay, everyone pick your team, please. Toby, do you want to team up with me? Ah, uh, did someone just say my name? Yeah, I was asking if you wanted to... Sorry, gonna have to speak up. Signal's breaking up. Do you want to team up with me? Still can't hear anything. Do you want... Oh, Toby, just stop pricking about and team up with your brother. <sighs> Fine. Who's next? Teams? Yeah, I... Uh, I just need to go to the loo. Oh, Jesus Christ, Dad. What the hell is this quiz? Chaos. You play the whole thing in teams? Sort of. We pick a new team each round. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I can't remember how it started. Probably some doomed attempt to make things fair or <laughs> avoid another fight. You know what they're like. I sure do, kid. I sh <laughs> what is this quiz about? Are you huh? okay? Uh, what is it about? I've been better. You better go pick a teammate. Oh, I'm not starting with mummy. I'll be through this bottle before the first question. Well, you getting through that bottle has nothing to do with mum. Girls, behave yourselves. What would your father say if he saw you like this? Why do you have to bring daddy into everything? I mean, you're talking to us like we were children. June started it. I play with Auntie June. Okay, ready? Question one. Grime legend Capsi recently described my debut track as thick, but what is the track called? Or is that too easy? Uh, no, I think it's okay. Let's start easy and see how we go. Oh, I completely zoned out of that. What was the question? Uh, what is Lottie's song called? Uh. Songs from a Strangulated Cat. Ballad of a Teenage Narcissist Ho. <laughs> Actually, I do know what it's called. She's rammed it down our throats enough times. It's called Vibin' It. Mm. What does that even mean? It sounds like a massage chair. Or a sex toy. 
Uh, well, a, a vibe is like a sort of a feeling. Don't patronise me. Sorry, I, I Just thought that... Just ask the question. I need to know My what first track is called That and It. <laughs> Not a single wrong answer there. Clearly, a lot of fans on the floor tonight. <laughs> Your sister, Abigail, is an asshole. Who does she get it from? All Question right. two. Capsy loved my track we'll so right much one. he had me guest on his latest song. Take with him, pick grandma for What's this one. That's something foreign, isn't it? Asian. The word's Asian. Huh? Just put that down before we run out of time. Asian. That's good enough. I don't know what is that. I'm pretty out. sure it's arigato. Well, what the what? hell is that? Thank you in the, Japanese. They wrote That's it Asian. Wrong. I said Asian. Japan's Asian, oh, isn't it? Right. The answer is arigato. Oh. Christ, what a little rubbish. Uh, just give me a minute. I need to think of question three. She uh, heard Renat the meeting. Space out here. Just to see the look on your face. What do you mean? Who oh, didn't your precious Uncle Marcus tell you? What? He burnt his hand. Poor lamb. Well, I burnt his hand. Accidentally, but I rather wish I'd thought of it. What what happened? Well, I had a little stumble and I knocked one of my candles, which landed on Marcus, and straight away his jumper just woof, up in flames. Now, quality clothing does not burn like that, so it just goes to show, doesn't matter how much money that man makes, he will never not be a cheap skate titus. Anyway, Toby claims he was just trying to douse the flames, so he threw his drink right in Marcus's face, nowhere near the flames. So then your mother threw her drink on him as well, which did put out the fire, which was Kind of a shame. But Marcus started wailing like a girl about his hand. He was in agony. So Lottie ran in with a wet rag and started rubbing it all over his burns. It was hilarious. So then your nana got involved and started bandaging his hand. And then Bradley came in with some painkillers. And the fun was sort of over really then, which was sort so of sad. So two people threw their you know, drinks. if it had been just me, I'd have left him too. a rag with some He did look on like he'd been dragged through a hedge backwards and forwards again. It's all really rather wonderful. Question three. According to a recent poll from my fans, what is my greatest strength? Oh, right. Now, so this is the bit when she Uncle Marcus is dying, woman! Singing voice, isn't it? Actually, I think Lottie might think greatest strength means something else. Like what? I think she means her eyebrows. I mean, why are we even playing along with this? These aren't questions. She's just manipulating us into giving her praise and compliments. It is pathetic. Eyebrows. Please pause the game. I do honestly game. think she'll say her... What the fuck is this writing? Daddy. 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 Please help me. I've been poisoned and I'm going to die. Find out who poisoned me. Same by two seconds later. Hey kiddo, did this quiz with your family? Let's save Uncle Marcus. Her eyebrows. I uh, think for three years, Radiac. The answer three years is of generosy. Obviously my good eyebrows. Man. Good yes. she's worse than I thought. I was really Dear surprised badge. when my fan said that. You know, I was like, what about my legs or like my teeth tons. or my eyes? And they were like, oh yeah, we love them all too, but like it's really hard to pick a favorite. And I was like, yeah, there. 
sweet succulent hell is she talking about? Okay, so question four. How many times has dad taken me to Dubai? Oh, Christ. That waste of space. Honestly, you should have seen him run for the hills the second Lottie was born. Couldn't see him for dust. Now it's one holiday a year and he thinks he's the best daddy in the world. Still, I suppose most affair babies are just forgotten about, aren't they? So I should give him a tiny bit of credit for that. But you're bloody glad he's not your dad, aren't you? I guess so. Oh, come along, Abigail. It is very sad that your daddy died, but, but it's been years now. But I just had to get over it when my daddy died. No moping about for me. And do you know the answer to this or not? I can work it out. Can you now? Yeah, Lottie went to Dubai for the first time for her sixth birthday. I remember it because um, she was really scared, so I made her this Lucky Charm necklace to wear on the plane for good luck. She anyway, my point uh, is that if she first went to Dubai for her sixth birthday, she's been doing the same thing every year since. Lottie's now 19. With a simple bit of maths... 13. Put that down. Well, I was going to say what? 14. Yes, well, you're not exactly Carol Vorderman, are you? So just put the answer in. Fuck. I'm sorry, but the answer is definitely now 14. Now I fucking... What are you doing? So, the answer is 14 times. Oh, I love it so much. Well, fuck. Throwing math in my face so. suddenly. You both know that was more the love fuck? than judgment. All right. right. That's all the questions I've got. Someone else can go now. She's only done four questions. At least we got a few points that round. I don't know why I even do these things. I mean, I don't care about winning. Although I do quite like beating people. Still, a few more of these, and it'll be wiped from my memory like tears in the rain. What's that from? Is it from a film? Oh Christ, it's not one of Lottie's lyrics, is it? God, I better forget that. It is better to forget things. It just makes life easier. Are you okay? You do know there's something wrong with your sister, don't you? What, just in general? No, or... I'm just saying, she's behaving very oddly at the meeting, you know, all night, checking her phone up and down to the window. I, I, I don't know what she was looking for or who, but all night, just up and down, up and down. A bit like your mother's skirt when she was a teenager. I mean, normally I wouldn't have noticed or, or cared, but they were my windows she was breathing all over. And it did take Bradley a very long time to clean them. Is there anything else you remember about the meeting? Anything at all? No. Very sus. Thanks. I am never teaming up with that freak again. I was only trying to make conversation. Uh, have you told Mum about your latest purchase? Huh? He's bought a gun, Mum. Literally, the very gun that was used to murder that famous astronaut. Well, it's not the exact gun. It's the same make of gun, right? There's a difference. Oh, for God's sake, you two. If I have to listen to you bickering any more, I'm going to come up to Bradley's room and blow my own brains out. Speaking with your Auntie June is like trying to charm a rattlesnake. <laughs> but I think we got some useful stuff. Oh, shit. I also have some new... Oh. oh! Oh, shit. News that could really help us. The doctors have managed to narrow the poison down to three possibilities. So let's check out everything that we have so far. Polonium, thallium, demethyl. What? 100% uncovered. Lottie kept looking out the window. <laughs> what? What fucking window? Oh, Lottie kept looking out the window. She's behaving very oddly at the meeting. You know, all night, checking her phone up and down to the window. I, I, I don't know what she was looking for. Or... Okay. Yeah, signal's not great here, guys, so uh, I'd rather do my round 
later. I can give it a go, as long as someone explains the rules to me again. Oh, no. No, look, I'll do my round. Let's try and bring some order and civility back to proceedings, shall we? Dare I even say a bit of class? <laughs> I shall perform a piece of music. One of the classics. Gold! Spandau Ballet. One point to me. No, I mean the true classics. No, true! That's another one. Two points to me. I'm talking about Mozart, Bach, ah, Chopin, actual geniuses. You don't care about geniuses. You only cared about Spandau Ballet and the saxophone player's tight trousers. Well, this may come as a shock to you, June, but some people's tastes mature with age. You're right. And you have. Aged. What are we playing? I shall perform a recognisable melody and you must simply tell me the name of the piece okay. or to make it easier for the slow ones, just tell me the name of the composer. So we're playing Name That Tune. Yes, Mother, if you like. Fancy being with me, June. There's nothing I'd like more than to repeatedly explain what's going on. If I have to listen to this annoying cunt bill for one more second, I, mean, I will do her things. the favour <laughs> blow my own brains out. Let's ask a few questions. Character. Well, come so along far. then. Let's get it over with. Nimini pimini, nimini pimini. Millicent millipede multiplied majestically. Millicent millipede multiplied majestically. Hey, Abs. You cool? Right, I'm going to be leaving a lot of this quiz to you, yeah? We're still in transit here. This is That's vital fine. work. We can't stop. That's We're going to build these you. schools. And we I'm can't risk expert. coming across any of these militias. Dance, you run here, dude. And they're not Next the only danger in a chakra. place like this, you know? I wish there were more people like you, Toby. Oh, me too, Abs, me too. Is everyone listening? La 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 you got this one, yeah? It's Mozart. Look, I don't want to lose this quiz again, so I'm counting on you. Hey, les yeux yeah. sur la route. Les yeux sur la route. Everything okay, Toby? Oh, yeah, there's just an old man on the road. He looks in pretty Beethoven. desperate shape. I'll tell the driver yeah, so to, uh, to give him a bottle of water. Ooh. I forgot. Ooh. He's dead. Ooh. Oh, I tried to think what would happen to these poor people if I wasn't out here risking my life to help them, you know? We should uh, stop the quiz. You should go and help them. I don't need to. Mom, um... sorry, can we just pause the quiz for a second? Toby needs to go and help no, Abby, someone. No, it's okay. It doesn't take three people to What's hand a guy on? by the uh, There's a man in the road. Auntie Felicity, it's all taken care of. The driver's going to... Abby. <laughs> what are you doing? you got to get back to the quiz, Abby. Abby! Oh, he's just trying oh, to show shit. off. I'm not showing Ignore off. I'm saving him. lives. It's just one old man. You can't leave him. I'm not leaving him. Oh, thanks, Abby. Well, how long is he going to be, Abby? I don't know. Why do I even bother? Someone else do around. I'm not risking a vocal strain for any of you. What? Fabulous birthday so far, Flig. Do you think we're actually going to finish a single round this evening? Uncomfortable. Sorry, there was a typo my in favorite. my last dono. What I meant to say was, if I have to listen to any of these annoying British cunts for one more second, I will solve the mystery early by blowing my own brains out. But that won't solve the mystery. Oh shit. Abby! Jesus Christ, what the hell? They're on to me. Who? The killer! I got an email, anonymous, they no, told me to Abby. stop or. or. Oh my god, I, I can't do this. I'm afraid it is too late for that. No, I can't, I told you. Abby! No, I'm not built for this shit! 
What are they gonna do to me? Abby, stop! Oh, stop! Uh -oh. What, uh, Marcus? Uh oh. Uh, are you okay? It's getting worse, Abby. I've got less time than I thought. Don't give up on me. You're the only chance I got. Please, Abby. Please. Okay. I mean, who could have fucking... I only talked to like two people privately. I only asked like two people so far questions. That was terrible. Worst pick. The fuck Toby's... Okay, listen up, guys. Uh, my signal seems to have settled down a bit, yeah? So let's do my run now. But listen, I've got a pretty cool new spin on how to... Everyone get in teams. Right, yeah, 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 sure, cool. Yeah, let's start there. Uh, Lossie, will you... Ew, no. Don't let her talk to you like that, Bradley. Well, you say worse to him every day. The other day you called him a slug. That was affectionate. At least my Bradley's slug. not a brainless, stuck-up little so moron like Lottie. I'm not stuck-up. You, you ever speak to my daughter like that again oh, and I'll... Flick, I didn't know you'd suddenly become interested in your children. Stop, I'll, like, team up with Bradley, whatever, if it'll save another argument. Cool. Let's just make this clear. You can team up with me, but that does not mean you can talk to me. Okay. We're gonna expand some minds here, guys. <laughs> hey, Auntie Felicity, look, just give me a chance and I might just change your life for the better, yeah? Toby, the only way you can make my life better is if you never speak to me ever again. <laughs> I play with none. Oh, thank goodness. I've got a clever one on my team. You're the clever one, Nan. Don't be daft. Okay, everyone concentrating, yeah? This is... It's a little bit different to your typical quiz round. I like to call these empathy exercises. Now, I'll give you a scenario, and you have to relate to that scenario with empathy. Huh? Sounds simple, right? Well, I don't know what he's on about. Great, let's go. Now, imagine you're very poor. You're 12 years old. And you're getting up before sunrise because you have to walk eight miles to get to school. What's going on? Eight Who's miles. walking to school? And, and how far did he say? Eight miles? Well, why don't they just catch the bus? The school must run one. Uh, um... T Toby's not talking about anyone real. It's a hypothetical situation. It doesn't sound funny to me. What? Oh, uh, no. Hypothetical. It means made up. Oh, right. So, what's the question? I don't know. <laughs> now, picture this. Halfway along this poor child's exhausting journey, he finds an old woman in the road, trapped under a dead horse. Ah. Do you stop to help her? Knowing that to do so will cost you a day's education. An education that is your only way out of poverty. Well, I don't know what he's on about. Anyway, are you all right, love? You seem a bit on edge tonight. Did you get those raspberry tarts I made? Your mother said I couldn't post food, but I bloody well did. Yes, yeah, I, I got them. Thank you. What on earth's the matter, love? I need to... I need to tell you about something that's happened to Uncle Marcus, something that happened at the meeting. Oh, love. There was a lot said in temper at that meeting. No point raking over old wounds. There is actually no correct answer to that dilemma. And do you know why? Because that's real life. Guys, there are no easy answers in life. Our privilege, it insulates us from so much... Toby, this is a load of old shit. Just ask a bloody question. Oh, dear. It's all kicking off again. You know, I should have known that an exercise like this would be a waste of time on this family. No emotional intelligence at all. You should all be ashamed. Well, someone else do their round so Toby will shut up. No, that's not fair. I want to do a round. No. But it's my turn. No. Oh, well, that's a shame. Speak again, love. Nan, wait a second. I, I need to tell you something. I knew there was something wrong. 
What on earth is it? Something really bad has happened to Uncle Marcos. Bad? Well, what do you mean? Someone's hurt him. Someone's... Oh, Abby, tried love. To... He's not going on about that again, is he? About what? That bloke he said was threatening him. What? Well, it was a few years ago now. Marcus had a bit of trouble with an old business partner. Marcus thought he was trying to kill him. What? Got in a right state over it. Said the bloke was threatening him, sending him violent emails. Well, because the emails were anonymous, so any bloody one could have been sending them. Apparently, he didn't leave his house for months. He was absolutely convinced someone was trying to kill him. Well, nothing happened, of course. He was to me, if you I'm ask worth me, it. He made the whole thing up. Maybe I'm active. worth it. Oh, I'm worth it. And he gave me, I'm worth it. Give it to me, I'm worth it. Maybe I'm worth it. I thought your mother said that. Oh, I'm that. worth it. And he gave me, I'm worth it. Five years, dude. Force and flirt. Cool Bean, Sidavan, Shillam, and Phillips, welcome back. Twitch Acti, thank you for the six months as well. Imagination, after all. I can't believe he never told you. You're very close, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. I wonder why he kept it from you. Abby? No, I, I'm fine, honestly. Thank, thank you for telling me. Are you going to be all right, love? Yeah, I'm fine. Right then, see you for the next round. <laughs> Kid, <sighs> we need to talk. Abby, please. Please. It's his dying wish, please. Think of the children. If we had more time, I could explain. You said this was real. It is real. How can I trust you? How can I trust anything that you say now? I'm not paranoid. Some guy was making threats. It wasn't in my head. Oh, okay, so maybe I took the threats a little too seriously, but how was I supposed to know? <laughs> how was I supposed to know he wasn't gonna follow through? How was I supposed to know that? As far as I was concerned, the guy was nuts. And then June got a hold of it, Abby, and the whole thing got twisted. And I, I, I don't know why I didn't tell you. I don't know. I, 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 I didn't want to scare you. So why are you telling me this time? This time? Abby? It just doesn't make any sense. You, you tell me the story that someone's tried to kill you, and now, now I find out that you've done this before. This is not the same. Uh, how? Abby, I'm fucking dying! <laughs> Look, Abby, you either trust me or you don't. And if you don't, then this whole thing is done. Don't smash it. Okay, don't smash and you're it. never going to know the whole story. Is that what you want? Is that what you want, Abby? Just know this. I'm the only person in this family that would never fucking lie to you. Huh. I trust him. I, I believe you. You don't know how much Scuffed I needed Magneto. to hear that, Abby. Especially with how I'm feeling right now. So I think some of the stuff that Nan said um, helps us. Are you okay? Do you hear that? Hey, what? The rats, they're running all over my floor. I can't hear anything. Fucking worms, ah! What? They're crawling down my neck, Abby. Uh, I, I can't see anything. What? There's nothing there. Are you sure? Do you yeah. hear that, chat? Uh, hallucinations have started then. Wait, do you hear Doc that? Doc says once I start seeing things, you can count how long I have left in minutes. Was that in the game? What the fuck, Grandma? You, do you did nothing, but took from me. I better get back in there then. Wait, I'm sorry. I don't think I'm gonna be able to help you much longer. <coughs> You're of no help. Uncle Mark. <laughs> it's 
Plot twist. You got cancer from the script. What is it? I'm out of time. No use pandering to their egos anymore, kid. I won't be around long enough. If you want to save me, you got to find the truth. The truth is out there. Good luck. If you have three poisons, just fucking take the one in three when you start coughing fucking blood. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Absolutely well, not. I'm telling you, I can do it. This quiz has been enough of a disaster so far. Oh, let your sister have a go. It'll be chaos. Look at her. She's just had a couple of drinks. No harm in that. A couple of drinks? She's had a cellar full. Look, nobody has anything ready. But I do. I have questions. Right. Lots and lots of questions. Can I team up with you, Mum? Oh, I just know I'm going to regret this. You are going to play nicely, aren't you, June? Of course I am. I always play nicely. I'll play, I'll play with the Delighted. school shooter, yeah. Bradley, what do you know about poisons? Nothing. Bradley? I don't... I don't know anything. Question one. Which one of Flick's little brats mm -hmm. threw up all over my car? Well, that was you, wasn't it? Mum still talks about it. She still thinks she can smell it. She's had like eight cars since then. <laughs> I was three years old. Yeah, she'll never forgive you. You can answer it or what? Fine. So the answer is Abigail. You should have known things are only going to go downhill from there. Question two. Who? Poisoned my parakeets when he was a child. Is this you? Look, I I didn't think they'd die. It was an experiment. Okay. Uh -huh. I should have remembered this. You've you've done it before. What? I mean, it's pretty obvious if you take like a millionth of a second to think about it. I'll answer the question, but then we need to talk. What are you talking about? So the answer to that particularly tricky brain teaser is of course. Bradley, my son, you're such a joy to be around. Abby, I need you. Bro! What is it? What's the matter? Time's up. Doc says if I take the right antidote, now, I might just make it. I can't trust my brain right now, kiddo. I need you to pick one. What it's the okay, fuck? Abby. Whatever happens... Happens. Just choose. Mercury. Please. Dimethyl mercury. Could have okay, gotten the mercury out of a thermometer. Kill the birds. I have it. Okay. See you on the other side. Who did this? I won't let you down again. I was about to win the quiz. <laughs> what the fuck? fuck again. Well. Well, where the hell have you been? Which one of you did it? 
Abby, are you okay? Who did it? Abby, explain yourself. That will work. He's dead. He's fucking dead. Who... Who murdered Uncle Marcus? Who was it? Who did it? Abby, love, calm down. No, no they one... did, they did, Nan, they fucking did it. Abby, cut this out now. Who's the fucking murderer? Right, that's enough, I warned you once. You fucking bastards! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Kicked. Sorry. <laughs> Best ending? Or is there a better one? I got fucking destroyed. I usually get the best ending. I got fucking destroyed, man. What the fuck happened? <laughs> I got absolutely fucking ravaged in my asshole. Any percent, one record. need to know the story. Do I, uh, do I YouTube it? Retry. <laughs> try. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's retry. All right. I'll beat it this time, alright. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I don't think I can do this to you. Alright. Skip it. You need to shake them off, Abby. This whole rotten family, like I did. <laughs> hey, well, you Metallica didn't shake them off too well. Months, 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 seven years. You got a point Man. there. You know. Message. But a beautiful badge. <sighs> for sure. Tab? Oh, Don't answer it. What? Don't answer Come it. Come on, Abby. Ignore her, please. She knows how to leave a message. Alright. Yeah, fuck that. Your mom's on the warpath. I would just leave her alone Bro, for all now. Right. I think your best Let me just success. beat this. All right. I didn't know how little time I had. That's Lottie, that's the thing. That, that my re my decisions were good. I just didn't have enough time. June. Right. But Mama, maybe because it's your birthday, that's why you should go first. No. Well, how no. about nobody goes first, and then we can all just fuck off to bed. All right. I speak with Toby. Hi, Toby. Yeah, you're gonna have to speak up, Abs. Traffic in these war-torn places is going to be pretty heavy. But you know me, I'll do anything for a good cause. Sorry, can you hear me now? Yeah, Abs, you're going to have to repeat that. Uh, no, I was just, I was just oh, saying... Matt, this traffic is crazy. Who are you helping now, Toby? The people of Earth. Same as Classic. always. Of course. Just doing what I was born to do. Anything specific? Yeah, we're looking at areas to build a new school. But the area we're looking at is thick with militia. That's the risk you take when you're helping people divided by civil war. Wow, that sounds really scary. <sighs> Trust me, Abs, you take your life into your own hands coming out here, but it's just something I've got to do, you know? You're amazing, Toby. <laughs> I'm just doing what I can. I love to help. It's who I am. 
Well, can you go first on the quiz? No, no, I want people to be warmed up before I do my round. Hey, has your sister ever done a round? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm pretty um... sure that she hasn't. Now, fairness is important to me, Abs. That's how everyone wants to be treated. Yeah, it's time that Lottie gave something back to this family. Okay, then. It's okay, just, just show him our papers, yeah? Okay, look, I, no, no, I gotta go, Abs. Oh, There's a checkpoint right. up ahead. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Oh, uh... I graduated the top of my class. Cool. Oh, Toby. How was that? That was good. You got him talking. I'd say you nailed it. Now let's I get back nothing. to the quiz. Sherlock One of Holmes. you start before I say something I'll regret. Well, actually, I won't regret it. You will. Lottie, I think it's your turn to go. You haven't, you haven't done one in a while. Haven't I? Fine, I'll go. I haven't thought of anything for my round though. Is that gonna be a problem? Oh, get on with it. Okay, I'll just do whatever questions come to mind. They'll mostly be about me though. Everyone pick your teams, please. Toby, do you want to team up with me? Ah, did someone just say my name? Yeah, I was asking if you wanted to- Sorry, gonna have to speak up. Signal's breaking up. Do you want to team up with me? Still can't hear anything. Do you want... Oh, Toby, just stop pricking about and team up with your brother. <sighs> Fine. Who's next? Teams? Yeah, I... Uh, I just need to go to the loo. Oh, Jesus Christ, Dad. What the hell is this quiz? Chaos. You play the whole thing in teams? I can't sort of. We with, with pick time. a new team each work round. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I can't remember how it started. Doesn't Probably work. some doomed attempt to make things fair or avoid another fight. You know what they're like. I cannot. I sure do, kid. I sh <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, I've been better. We get twice the cancer. You now. better go pick a teammate. Oh, I'm not starting with mummy. I'll be through this bottle before the first question. Well, you getting through that bottle has nothing to do with mum. Girls, behave yourselves. What would your father say if he saw you like this? Why do you have to bring daddy into everything? I mean, you're talking to us like we were children. June started it. Oh, so you want to be in a team with me? Well, at least you're not June. Did you like the present I got you? Mm, remind me? The earrings? Oh, yes, that's right. You think they suit me, do you? Well, I just think you look great in anything. Okay, question one. Whenever I'm in Dubai, I go to Dimitri Chateau's. He does my favorite dish in the world. What is it? What a stupid question. How on earth am I supposed to keep track of every culinary fiasco that Lottie gets obsessed with? I mean, whatever it is, it'll be some sort of bizarre vegetation, won't it? Is it trendy to eat a hedge now? Hello, Forsen. Actually, I Pause. think Thanks. I know... Maybe you can send this last attempt to speedrun.com and finally own a world <laughs> record in any percent, <laughs> since Elden Ring and Minecraft surely worked out. Okay, I am done. Enjoy the game. Look at him! Look at him! H H H H. Know the answer? It's a good one. Keto sir. Ke ketogenic hemp and tofu bowl. That's not a meal. It's a collection of noises. Oh, I know, but I'm pretty sure it's what Lottie will say. Mm. There we go. Okay, so the dish is called humility. It's a specially prepared hemp and tofu bowl served with quinoa. Ugh, honestly changed my life. That's not food, it's just syllables. Well, at least we got a point for it. You bothered to brush your hair today? I think so. Question two. I've worked with some of the best cutting edge and underground designers in the world. Like, Jani O, Hieronymus Gosh. Jesus Christ. The Dongle Brothers. But who is my style icon? Oh, hang on, I know this. It's me. 
Lottie says it all the time. We met for brunch a few months ago, and when I got to the table, she just looked at me and went... Iconic. Yeah, she said that to me a few times, too. What, you're her style icon? I'm that hard to believe. No, um... She said that about you to me. Oh, yes, that makes more sense. I'll just answer the question, shall I? Oh, hang on, though. I know Lottie wouldn't make this the question if she wasn't the answer. Yes, let's just say Lottie. I bet she says that. So, the answer is obviously me. So predictable. I'm just like... Why follow anyone else's vibe? I'm just so unique. Why not channel that into my style, you know? When did unique become synonymous with up your own ass? Um, just talk amongst yourselves, guys. When I have question three, I will shout. Sorry, I missed the meeting, Mum. So you should be. It was the usual nightmare. Don't see why you should get to escape it. The one consolation. Marcus came off worse this time. I mean, I know you've hero-worshipped that man ever since your father died, but he really is an awful prick. What happened? Oh, didn't anyone tell you? Auntie June knocked one of her foul-smelling candles right onto him. Christ knows what scent it was supposed to be. Cherry and toilet dark, it smelt like. Something chemical, anyway. And Marcus's jumper started to burn instantly. So Toby threw his drink straight in Marcus's face, said he was trying to put out the flames. Though how you missed by that much accidentally, I don't know. So then I poured Marcus's drink over him to actually put out the flames. Of course. Then Marcus started shouting about Auntie June burning his hand and Lottie came in with an old wet rack which she said was cold and started rubbing it on the burn. Then your nan found a first aid box and started trying to dress the wound. Bradley came in with, well, they were pills. We said they were painkillers. Would you trust anything Bradley gave you? Mmm, I've got it. Okay. The internet loves me for my eyes and my unique style, but which of my special talents has recently got them obsessed? It was only a matter of time before she brought up singing. I, I think that she might mean something else. She can't do anything else. Well, she posted this video last week of her doing, like, this viral dance. Um, it was called The Shaker. You basically just shake your... Shake your booty. You know. I can guess. Don't worry, Mum. Loads, loads of people are doing it. Loads of people aren't in this family, Abby. Just pick an answer. OK, I'll go with The Shaker. The answer is singing. Last Unlucky. week, I did this collab on my channel with a girl who plays dubstep on the harp. It was so epic. Sorry, Mum. Well, it's hard when there's more than one talent to choose from. Wouldn't have that problem with you, would we, Abby? <laughs> Slim pickings there. Question four. How many dance championships did I win as a kid? God, she loves Wretched herself. Mother. Baffles me where she gets it from. Dance championships, I can work this out. Lottie only danced between 10 and 14, and there was a dance competition every... Two years. What was it? Every four months. Now, Lottie Three would never four. ask this question if she'd ever lost a competition. So, four years, a dance competition every four months, 12 months in a year, and... Oh, shit, no-one in real life does maths without a calculator. Um, I've got one on my phone somewhere. Is it 12? Just be quick about it. The answer is an unbelievable 12 wins. My coach begged me to keep dancing. He'd never seen anyone like me. 12 months from Metaphys. But like, I think I, I made the right love for some to find a new <laughs> challenge. New challenge? She Doing broke a her toe, pitch. threw a massive Probably hissy so fit and quit. Someone else can go now. I'm getting, like, really low on my social battery. Oh, thank God that's over. Oh, um, Mum, I wanted to ask you a question. All right. So a lot of yeah. pouring drinks. Okay. I am never teaming up with Maybe that it's free the Bradley boy. again. I was only Poisoning trying to make with throwing the drink. Uh, have you told Mum about your latest purchase? Huh? 
He's bought a gun, Mum. Literally, the very gun that was used to murder that famous astronaut. Right, it's not the exact gun, it's the same make of gun. Right? There's a difference. Oh, for God's sake, you two. If I have to listen to you bickering any more, I'm going to come up to Bradley's room and blow my own brains out. I can't. That doesn't work. Shut the fuck up. Your mom's pretty tricky to talk to, but you did good, kid. I also have some new... Oh, news that could really help us. All right. The doctors Go. have managed to narrow the poison down to three possibilities. So let's take a look at what we have. Poison possibilities. Polonium-210. Thallium. The methyl mercury. Being a poison expert, it couldn't possibly be the methyl mercury. Uh, what the fuck? Hello? What the fuck is this? Yeah, the signal's not great here, guys, so uh, I'd rather do my round later. I what can the give fuck? it a go, as long as someone explains the rules to me again. Oh, no. <sighs> Look, I'll do my round. Let's try and bring some order and civility back to proceedings, shall we? Dare I even say a bit of class? <laughs> I shall perform a piece of music. One of the classics. Gold! Spandau Ballet. One point to me. No, I mean the true classics. No, true! That's another one. Two true. points to me. I'm talking about Mozart, Bach, Chopin, actual geniuses. You don't care about geniuses. You only cared about Spandau Ballet and the saxophone player's tight trousers. Well, this may come as a shock to you, June, but some people's tastes mature with age. You're right. And you have aged. What are we playing? I shall perform a recognisable melody and you must simply tell me the name of the piece or to make it easier for the slow ones just tell me the name of the composer. So we're playing name that tune. Then. Yes mother if you like. Fancy being with me June. There's nothing I'd like more than to repeatedly explain what's going on to a slightly senile old woman over a dodgy internet connection. I mean it's one of my favourite things. Well I might ask a few questions. Well come along then. Let's get it over with. Nimini pimini, nimini pimini, brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Right, I'm starting my next piece now, whether you're ready or not. Oh my god! Did you do that? No, I think she's pressed something. Oh my god, this is my favorite everything I'm putting this on. <laughs> <gasps> Who did this? Uh oh. <laughs> Speak up, Mom. I, I think you put a filter Force on accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> Answers. Your Biden. Now. I can't even remember what she did. <gasps> oh wait, two seconds. Uh, uh, you have Mozart, to... Rondo, and Ataka. How do you know all of these? That was Mozart's Rondo Alataka. I need a moment to consider my next piece. This is it's really great, Lottie. I had no idea that you knew so much about classical music. Oh, yeah. I love it, hon. Love it. That last one used to be my ringtone when I was a kid. I just, like, listened to it over and over and over. What are you talking about? <laughs> I've got an app on my phone, babe. It's recognising all the songs for us. No one uses their brains anymore. Obviously. <gasps> well, let's not waste any more time. Oh, oh, Christ, I think I've strained something. Oh, you, this, none of this is worth me doing any serious damage to my voice, not even a mild twinge. <sighs> Someone else can do their round now. So, Lottie, I need to ask you something. Uh, yeah, gotta go, babe. Bye. OK. Captain Alexis saw the Fabulous birthday so far, Flig. Do you think we're actually going to finish a single round this evening? Uncomfortable silence. My favourite. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Abby! Jesus Christ, what the hell? They're on to me. Who? The killer. I got an email, anonymous, that they no, told me Abby. to stop or, or, oh my God, I, I can't do this. I'm afraid it is too late for that. No, I can't, I told you. Abby. No, I'm not built for this shit. What are they going to do to me? Abby, stop! Oh. Stop! What, Uncle Marcus? Oh. Are you okay? It's getting worse, Abby. I've got less time than I thought. Don't give up on me. Okay. You're the only chance I got. <sighs> Please, Abby. Please. Okay. Unlucky. Okay, listen up, guys. Uh, my signal seems to have settled down a bit, yeah? So let's do my round now. But listen, I've got a pretty cool new spin on how to... Everyone get in teams. Right, yeah, 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 sure, cool. Yeah, let's start there. Uh, Lottie, will you... Ew, no. Don't let her talk to you like that, Rudley. Well, you say worse to him every day. The other day you called him a slug. That was affectionate. At least my Bradley's not a brainless, stuck-up little moron like Lottie. I'm not stuck-up. Do you? You ever speak to my daughter like that again oh, and I'll... Flick, I didn't know you'd suddenly become interested in your children. Stop! I'll, like, team up with Bradley, whatever, if it'll save another argument. Cool. Let's just make this clear. You can team up with me, but that does not mean you can talk to me. Okay. We're gonna expand some minds here, guys. <laughs> hey, Auntie Felicity, look, just give me a chance and I might just change your life for the better, yeah? Toby. The only way you can make my life better is if you never speak to me ever again. <laughs> Hi. And just like that, I've got a headache. Sorry. So we're going to mix things up here and we're going to be doing some of the workshops that I teach in the schools. And I'll be awarding points for empathy. Oh, okay? Jesus Christ. That's not a quiz, No, Toby. it's so much more than that. This is an exercise where we can have fun and 
Learn something. Just ask a question, Toby, like a normal person. Yeah, it doesn't really work like that. Toby, ask a fucking question. You've never supported me. <sighs> oh, God, you know what? Just, oh, wait there. You know, I, I knew you'd do this. Question one. As global temperatures continue to rise, will it lead to an increase or a decrease in precipitation? Just say rain, Toby, for Christ's sake. Just say rain. Just like his father. Complete, utter embarrassment. Shall we go with increase? Well, it's 50-50, Abigail. I'm sure you can handle it. The answer is increase. Things are only going to get worse unless we act. Well, what a lucky guess. Congratulations, you have the equivalent brain power of a flipped coin. Thanks. Question two. Which greenhouse gas traps more of the sun's heat? Carbon dioxide or water vapour? Another 50-50. It's clearly as much as Toby's tiny mind can take. It just goes to show it can cause permanent damage, having one's head permanently stuck up one's... Did I ever body. tell you what the definition of insanity time, is? So insanity is like doing the exact same fucking thing over and over again, expecting shit to change. That is crazy. I'm not doing the same thing. Over and over, all right? I'm gathering information from different sources, all right? They just don't have any information. It's not my fault. I upside. The correct answer? Water vapor. See? I told you you'd learn something, guys. What? Have you always been this dim? Or am I what just the fuck are you noticing talking it about? now? I mean, all that money your mother spent on your education and here you are. What the fuck? Guessing in a quiz. A quiz made up by Toby. It was a tough question. What was the question? Question three. As a result of climate change, over 200 species of frog have gone extinct. And that's just since the 1970s. But what's the biggest threat that frogs face? I might not have to guess this one. I actually saw a frog documentary the other day. You watch documentaries about frogs? Yeah, I guess. Well, it was about a lot of different animals. Anyway, I think the answer is disease. Warmer climate. Yes, yes, whatever. But if you ask me, the biggest danger frogs face is the French. So... Put something down, Abigail, before he moves on. I'll go with diseases. So the correct answer is disease. Warmer climates mean diseases can spread very easily. So it's not just us in the firing line, guys. Well, that was easy. I know. Question four. What percentage of the world's coral reefs have died over the past 30 years? For God's sake, I've had enough of this. Toby, are any of these questions going Just to be Just so not we don't depressing? have to watch I mean, this shit for a three RD time, the poison is polonium 210. <laughs> is enough to make me want to end it all. It doesn't need any more encouragement. Oh, sorry, Mum. So what, you want me to do more stuff on the fun time. side of our planet dying? You know what? Second. I really tried with this, but I can tell by the answers I'm getting that none of you are taking this seriously. So, you know, someone else can do around that. I don't care anymore. What a waste of time. Well done, Abigail. But Auntie June, I, I... I need to... Look, something terrible has happened to Uncle Marcus. Oh, what else shit is he coming out with now? So you got aliens coming after him? Is that it? What? The thing you have to understand about your dear Uncle Marcus is that he's a nutter. Complete Aren't paranoid fantasist. Do you know, one year, he thought his business partner was trying to kill him. He said he was getting threats. Anonymous emails, anonymous. He's probably sending them to himself. So he got shutters, put on all the windows, surveillance cameras, everywhere do you know what happened nothing obviously your uncle marcus lost his marbles a very long time ago he's dangerous don't trust a word he says Oh, shit. Fuck. So
fuck? Fuck. Kid. We need to talk. You fucking nutter. Abby, please. Please. If we had more time, I could explain. You said this was real. It is real. How can I trust you? How can I trust anything that you say now? I'm not paranoid. Some guy was making threats. It wasn't in my head. Oh, okay, so maybe I took the threats a little too seriously, but how was I supposed to know? <laughs> how was I supposed to know he wasn't gonna follow through? How was I supposed to know that? As far as I was concerned, the guy was nuts. And then June got a hold of it, Abby, and the whole thing got twisted. And I, I, I don't know why I didn't tell you. I don't know. I, 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 I didn't want to scare you. So why are you telling me this time? This time? Abby? It just doesn't make any sense. You, you tell me the story that someone's tried to kill you, and now, now I find out that you've done this before. This is not the same. Uh, how? Abby, I'm fucking dying! Look, Abby, you either trust me or you don't. And if you don't, then this whole thing is done. And you're never going to know the whole story. Is that what you want? Is that what you want, Abby? Just know this. I'm the only person in this family that would never fucking lie to you. I trust. Uh, in God we trust. I believe you. You don't know how much I needed to hear that, Abby. Especially with how I'm feeling right now. <sighs> so, listen, I think some of the stuff Auntie June told me could really help us. <coughs> you okay? Fuck! No! I just spat out a bunch of fucking maggots! There's, there's nothing there. Fucking everywhere! Uncle Marcus, I, I can't see ah, any maggots. Fuck! Abby, get help! What? What the fuck is that? This fucking thing, Abby, is choking me! There's, there's nothing there! What? There, there's no snake! It's really not there. Fuck. Fuck. Hallucinations have started, Abby. Doc That's says it. once I start seeing things, you can count how long I have left in minutes. I better get back in there then. Wait, I'm sorry. I don't think I'm gonna be able to help you much longer. <coughs> Uncle Mark. <Please. laughs> what is it? I'm out of time. No use pandering to their egos anymore, kid. I won't be around long enough. If you want to save me, you got to find the truth. Okay. Good, good luck, kid. I'm finding the truth right now. I can do it. This quiz has been enough of a disaster so far. Oh, let your sister have a go. It'll be chaos. Look at her. She's just had a couple of drinks. No harm in that. A couple of drinks? She's had a cellar full. Look, nobody has anything ready. 
But I do. Right, last chance, I have boys. questions. Lots and lots of questions. Can I team up with you, Mum? Oh, I just know I'm going to regret this. You are going to play nicely, aren't you, June? Of course I am. I always play nicely. I'm delighted. Bradley, what do you know about poisons? Nothing. Bradley? I don't... I don't know anything. Question one. Which one of Flick's little brats threw up all over my car? Well, that was you, wasn't it? Mum still talks about it. She still thinks she can smell it. She's had, like, eight cars since then. <laughs> Bradley, you have to tell me everything that happened at the meeting. Well, nothing unusual, just, like, loads of arguments. Why are you staring at me like that? Oh, it's just so weird. Are you sure that's everything? Yeah. Abby, I need you. What is it? What's the matter? Time's up. Doc says if I take the right antidote now, I might just make it. I can't trust my brain right now, kiddo. I need you to pick one. It's okay, Abby. Whatever happens, happens. Just choose. Please. Polonium 210. Thanks, kid. Okay. Ah. 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 Bottoms up. who did this. I won't let you down again. Don't smash it, okay? Don't smash it! No, I fucking... I'm YouTubing this fucking... Plot twist shit in my ass. Alright, what is the fucking... Uh, I'm fucking YouTubing it! I can't tab to speed up the process, and I can't watch it one more time. Well, where the hell have you been? Which one of you did it? And now I can fucking do it. Alright, okay. right, if I can't tab, I'm fucking YouTubing this shit. Skip it. You need. Don't answer it. Don't answer. Yes. Your mom's on the warpath. And then we can all just fuck off to bed. <sighs> I can't. I can't tab anymore. 
I can't tab. Hiya, Auntie June. I uh, haven't seen you for a while. How have you been? Remarkable. Of all the conversational starters in the English language, that's the one you plump for. It's riveting. Oh, sorry. I, I was going to ask about... Nothing. Uh, that was a disaster. I've had worse conversations with June. When I was 12, she cut up my shoelaces with a pair of scissors in front of me. And I was just sitting there thinking, I hope she stops at the shoelaces. Maybe try something different next time. I'm not sure if I want a next time. <laughs> you gotta give it a try, kiddo. For now, come on, let's get back to the quiz. Oh, I can't stand this. If no one's going to volunteer, then I'll just decide. Lottie, you can go. I haven't prepared anything. The next words out of your mouth better be, yes, mum, or so help me God. Yes, mum. Oh, OK, I know. Um, I've got, like, a live Q&A next month with Studio Magazine, so you guys can help me prep. Just ask a fucking question, Lottie. OK, everyone pick your teams, please. Toby, do you want to team up with me? Ah, did someone just say my name? <coughs> Yeah, I'm just telling you. you. Sorry, gonna have to speak oh, up. Oh, signal's breaking up. Okay. Do you want to team up with me? Still can't hear anything. Do you want. Oh, Toby, just stop pricking about and team up with your brother. Fine. Who's <laughs> next? Huh? Yeah, I. Then the fuck? Uh, Why just, do I suck in. so much? Oh, Jesus oh. <laughs> what the hell is this quiz? Chaos. You play the whole thing in teams? Sort of. I we can't skip anymore, team. Chad. Round? It doesn't matter yeah, if I've this. seen yeah, it or I not. How it started, probably some it's unskippable. Fair or Tab does not work. You know what they're like. I sure do, kid. I sh <laughs> it does not work. Are you okay? Uh, I've been better. You better go pick a teammate. I'm pre I'm holding it. Oh, I'm not starting with mummy. I'm, I'm I'll be through this bottle before the first question. Who are you getting through? Roll by FMV game of metal. 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 Why do you have to bring daddy into everything? I mean, you're talking to us like we were children. June started it. Hello, my gorgeous girl. How are you, love? I'm um, okay, thanks, Nan. How are you? Oh, don't worry about me. Same as usual. How's work, love? Um, Met anyone recently? Uh, when am I seeing you next? Uh, question one. We'll finish our chat later, love. I was recently interviewed by fashion icon Jani O oh for her YouTube channel. In that interview, I bravely revealed my biggest fear. What is it? Crikey. Well, she used to hate spiders, didn't she? Or was that you? Actually, and now I think of it, that might have been Bradley. <laughs> Which one of you was petrified of geese? Lottie is definitely scared of spiders, but she's kind of had this weird fear for a while about going bold. What a silly girl. Although I don't know if she'd admit that in the interview. Or in this quiz. I wish she was more like you, Abby, love. She's been spoiled by her father too much. That's her problem. Let's go with spiders. The correct answer is... Spiders. Oh, you know, it's actually really hard for me to talk about this. Oh, dear. Question two is, in that same interview with Jani O, oh, she asked me, what is my greatest achievement to date? This might be kind of easy for some of you, but I guess I'll figure out who actually watched the interview, won't I? Did you watch it, love? Yeah, I meant to. Oh dear. Well, she was really happy when she grew old enough to drink. Maybe that's it. Nan? Can I ask you something? Of course, love. So the answer is 
being interviewed by Johnny O. What else could I say? She is an icon. What happened at the meeting the other night? You know what it's like, love. This family loved to bicker. Did you notice anything different? Well, I've never seen your Auntie June drink so much. <laughs> and that's saying something. She seemed far more anxious about the meeting than she normally is. Hello, Mr. Ford. what she was expecting. It seems that you I are speedrunning the game because I keep seeing this zero percent thing on my screen. Is this a speedrun? Come category. If this really is a speedrun, where is the timer? Would you mind elaborating? The timer is top left. And it keeps going down. Before everything started, June said to me that it was going to be the end of the road for Marcus. She can't have thought he'd give up his share in the family business that easily. Okay, I still don't have question three yet, so just like, I don't know, chill, I'll let All you know. Alright, evidence! Meeting, mostly arguments, like usual. Ah! Auntie June was on edge. That gives us oh, nothing. It was a bit of a disaster, to be truthful. Your Auntie June knocked one of her huge candles right into Marcus's lap. Awful smell it was. Don't know why anyone would want that in their home. She must have to light another candle to get rid of the stench. Toby threw his drink over Marcus to put the flames out, but it didn't work. So your mother had to throw another drink over him. Thankfully that worked. But then Marcus said he burned his hand. Fair play to Lottie. She was the quickest to react. She got a cold cloth and put it on the wound and Bradley got some painkillers for Marcus. Then what would have done without those Bradley kids? got painkillers. Oh, this is a good one. Huh? Okay, question three. I recently modeled in the publicity Wasn't campaign. Wasn't it Toby the... Gosh, any ideas, love? Yeah, I, th I think it's this... Forson, you have brand? been pressing oh, so the she's, left she's tab spamming to skip. Her followers with I see that is it. not working. I if you look at honest, your keyboard, you'll notice now, there is more than but one tab Lottie on the keyboard. There are two email. tabs. <laughs> one is on the right it. side. Have you tried me. pressing that one? What fucking tab on the right side? There's no fucking tab on the BBC right side. BBC One keeps going on about how the internet is essentially a giant scam. <sighs> what was the question? Some, something about makeup? This something. Are you all right, love? The answer is Dark Genie Virtual Eyeshadow. Trust me, it's the future. I can wear whatever I want and I never have to wash my face. And everyone on my mailing list is entitled to 10% off their first purchase. But the offer ends this month, so hurry quick. What were you saying, love? Sorry, Nan, I just... Do you remember anything else about the meeting? Anything strange? Strange? No. Uh, Bradley is the, the guy. About nothing. The emo kid, yeah. The temper tantrums. That's and Toby it. is the guy Honestly, saving love, the world. I wish I'd followed your lead and not even bothered with it. Question four, guys. So, which famous musician recently DM'd me for a hookup? What's a hookup? I really don't want to say. Sex <laughs> thing, is it? <laughs> I'm not sure. Pause the game, you, Mr. Force. Staying at the Hilton. God damn it! A game where you can endlessly recycle content. Surely this is your god game. You can just leave it run for six hours and we will see all the scenes. I think chat can play this game better than you. Well, then we get 0% too, alright? This and game's impossible. In his car. <laughs> Fucking Elden Ring on like steroids, man. Lottie! Do you think this is at all appropriate for a family occasion? You think your nan wants to hear this? I don't mind. She's only young. Let her have her fun. This kind of behaviour is unbecoming to our family, Lottie. No one's saying you're not entitled to a sex life, but you shouldn't be shouting about it. Your mother's just jealous, Lottie, because her sex life's about as active as the surface of the moon. And you're just... Batting them away, aren't you, June? <laughs> you probably dried up down there. Girls, you're embarrassing yourselves now. Honestly, I don't care. Someone else can have a go. At least I tried. Oh, well, that's a shame. I thought we made a good team. Yeah, me too. It's been lovely talking to you, love. I don't hear much of the grandkids anymore. 
Well, apart from Toby, he's been phoning me a few times recently. A funny thing, he, he barely says a word, but I can tell by his voice he's been crying. It's like he wants to say something really important, and then he just asks me how I am and says bye. Hope he's okay. You, you'll tell me if he says anything to you, won't you, love? Yeah, yeah, of course. All I right, will. I know what happened. Well, I best pop to the ladies' room before happened. it all starts up again. Toby stole his Bye. brother's poison, Bye, put it in the glass, threw it in the face of Uncle <laughs> Cocksucker. I am never teaming up with that freak uh, again. I was only trying to make conversation. Uh, have you told Mum about your latest purchase? Hundred percent. Huh? He's bought a gun, Mum. Literally, the very gun that was used to murder that famous astronaut. No, it's not the exact gun, it's the same make of gun, right? There's a difference. Oh, for God's sake, you two. If I have to listen to you bickering anymore, I'm going to come up to Bradley's room and blow my own brains out. Your grandma sure loves to talk, but it wasn't all meaningless. Plus, I have some news that... Oh! It's gonna take a uh, giant shit. That could really help us. The doctors have managed to narrow the poison down to three possibilities. So let's check out everything that we have so far. I can't press tab, you fucking cock sucking bitches. Huh? That was. Yeah, the signal's not great here, happen. guys, so uh, I'd rather do my so. round later. I can give it a go, as long as someone explains the rules to me again. Oh, no. <laughs> Look, I'll do my round. Let's try and bring some order yeah, and civility back to the man. Yo, 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 yo. Buckethead, Jodagi, 85 months, Snooper Cal, and I one on one. perform a piece of music. One of the classics. Gold! Spandau Ballet. One point to me. No, I mean the true classic. No, true! Oh, oh now it works. Uh, mm. Hey, Bradley. How are you? Uh, who's that on your T-shirt? Well, you've never heard of Keith Wilson Keys before. Should I? Yeah, he killed six people in one weekend. Medford, Oregon, 1997. They called him the Beaver State Cleaver Killer. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, him. He's a, he's a good one. I didn't realise that they put serial killers on T-shirts. No, 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 he's, he's, not, he's not a serial killer. He's a spree killer. And uh, yeah, you can get a lot more than this if you know where to look. Everyone Hello, be quiet Forsen. and listen carefully. Please pause the, the video. Phone. Thank you. Forson, here's a link since we seem to still be stuck in the intro, and I have yet to hear no more links. Best wishes, Mr. Force. No further fucking links. Motherfuckers. Unless it's the fucking ending, the true ending of this game. Best <laughs> peace. La 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 Oh, I think I know this. I think it's Beethoven. La 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 I mean, I guess Beethoven's a pretty safe bet because it's either going to be him or Mozart, right? La 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 Shall I go with Beethoven then? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I, I know Beethoven died in a thunderstorm and you can still visit his grave, so... Um... Well, I'll just go for him then. Yes, a pretty straightforward one to start. That was the sumptuous Furalese by the magnificent Beethoven. Piece number two. La, 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 la. La 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 Mum really got into that one, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, she did. Do you know it? Uh, I don't know the name, but it sounds like one of the ones your mum played the other night. Why do people listen to happy Got music it. when they're not even happy? 
It just makes you feel worse, you know? Shall we just guess? Yeah, I'll, I'll just guess. Uh, let's try Buck. Another easy one future. from another great master. That was Mozart's Piano Sonata Number 16 in C major. Now talk amongst yourselves. I need a moment to consider my next piece. How are things anyway, Bradley? Ah, Boring. I get it now. He was referring to yesterday's meeting. I should have asked him you about the meeting. Cool. <laughs> okay. Unlucky brain right now. What? No, come fault. on. Oh my God. Bradley. Well, it's not Bradley. Abby. What are you doing? You gotta get back to the quiz, Abby. Abby! Wait, what are you doing? Are you okay? Does the risk of pain excite you, Abby? <sighs> Wait, come on. You can tell me. Don't be afraid. Oh, yeah. I love it. Pain's... Great. I could show you how to do it if you want. Oh, not right now. But thank you. Right. This next piece is so obvious, I considered not doing it. But for some reason, it's been going round in my head. Perhaps this will get it out of my system. La, 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 la. Oh, I can never remember the name. Funeral March. It's Funeral March by Chopin. It's one of my favourites. All oh, right, yeah. It's a, it's a good one. one of his la, 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 la. That piece was the incredibly moving Funeral March by Chopin. I already know what I'm doing for my fourth piece, so be quiet. No! Oh, no, no. The humidity's changed. I can't sing in this. I could sprain something. Let's move on to the next round. I was surprised you weren't at the meeting. Aren't you Uncle Marcus's biggest cheerleader? Uh, yeah, no, I, I really wanted to be there. It was just, there was this thing at work and... You should have been there. He needed you. What are you saying? Everybody else hates him. The whole family, apart from you. I mean, my mum spends most of her time thinking about how much she hates him. So after too many drinks, she starts rambling about him, talking about how he's ruined Grandad's legacy, how a company should have come to her or your mum. <laughs> At once, <laughs> when it was really bad, she asked me if I knew how to hire a hitman. She thought maybe I'd know something from the black internet. <laughs> like, she meant dark web, obviously. I asked her why she wanted to know, and she just said she saw it in a film once. And uh, yeah, it was the last time she mentioned it, at least to me. Bradley? Do you know something? I don't know. Maybe. Bradley, what? Oh, shit. Maybe? <sighs> Fabulous birthday so far, Flig. Do you think we're actually going to finish a single round this evening? Uncomfortable silence. My favourite. Uh, definitely this guy. My, my, my plan checks out. Or my, uh... Not my plan, my uh, thought process. A little left of it. If you value your life, Abby. Jesus Play Christ, what the hell? They're on to me. <laughs> Who? The killer. I got an email, anonymous. They no, told me to Abby. stop or, or. Oh my god, I I can't do this. I'm afraid it is too late for that. Can't no, I can't. I told you. Abby. No, I'm not built for this shit. What are they gonna do to me? Abby, stop! Oh. Stop! <laughs> What, Uncle Marcus? I'm oh. fucking dying! Are you okay? Don't give up on me. Look at him, Jack. Look at him. This is the Sikars knocking okay. Yet he gets zero percent. Wrong with Are you chicken? Okay, listen up, guys. Uh, my signal seems to settle down a bit, yeah? So let's do my round now. 
But listen, I've got a pretty cool new spin on how to... Everyone get in teams. Right, yeah, 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 sure, cool. Yeah, let's start there. Uh, Lottie, will you... Ew, no. Don't let her talk to you like that, Bradley. Well, you say worse to him every day. The other day you called him a slug. That was a fiction. Is if you never speak to me ever again. <laughs> How's it going, Mum? How do you think? Good? Bad. Very bad. This quiz has been a disaster so far. But I'm getting to the end of this round, no matter what. Well, it's just nice to do something on your birthday. Is it? Well, none of us would be here if it wasn't for you. No. No, you wouldn't. OK. Listen up, guys. We're doing what I like to call empathy scenarios. It's kind of quiz, kind of a workshop type thing. So I'm going to give you a scenario and you can score points by how well you empathise, OK? That doesn't make any sense. Show me the empathy. <laughs> OK. First scenario, picture this. Imagine that you're humble people. <sighs> I know that's a pretty hard ask for some people in this family. So, you're humble people. You've lived in the same tiny fishing village your entire lives. And you're facing the twin threats of globalization and climate change. Is that it? I think so. What's the question? Remember, guys, we're looking for empathy here. Points. For empathy. Oh, how am I supposed to just conjure up empathy? I have no idea. Is it a charades type thing? Are we supposed to act it out? Yes, Mum, that, that must be it. You're, you're a genius. Well, if he wants a performance, I'll give him a performance. But if I humiliate myself and Toby still makes me lose this bloody quiz... Empathy. Nodding. Nodding. Is, is that empathy? I think so. <laughs> Sorry, Toby, this is just supposed to be a bit of fun for Mum's quiz. Do we really need to think about this admittedly very important and very sad stuff now? See, it's that kind of attitude that makes doing this round so important, yeah? Now, imagine this. A mystery illness starts sweeping through your little fishing village. Ooh. Actually, I've got some uh, resources that might help you engage with the subject, OK? Um, let me just uh, share them with you. Uh, let me just catch up to where we were. Uh, OK, OK, so the symptoms of the disease are vomiting and <laughs> diarrhoea. No! <laughs> Toby, turn that off. Right now. The people of this fishing village can't just turn it off, Auntie Felicity. Toby, turn that off right fucking now. <laughs> OK, so we won't use the resources. Oh, why did I have chilli for supper? The mystery illness starts <sighs> sweeping through your village. But the nearest hospital is 200 miles away. What emotional toil does that take? Do you want to stop, Mum? No, I'm not looking at pictures of shit without getting some points. He wants a performance. I'll give him a performance. The devil is here. The devil is in our homes. He comes at night, comes to snatch us away. How will our poor little fishing village cope? Uh, look out for the devil. Oh, for God's sake, Abby. Don't just copy me. Think of your own thing. And as he comes, the children quail. They know yeah, not I'm, I'm a fisherman and I'm, I'm scared we of, scared of missing out on our quotas and uh, of fish. And I've lost my net. Pray for our village. Auntie Felicity. Yes. That's actually really reductive, yeah? It's even pretty offensive, you know? I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to take five. You can't take that. It's my quiz, and you're not taking a single quiz. Oh, Just ask a question, Toby, an actual question, a normal question. Mum, if it was up to me, I'd give you ten points. No, a million points. Get your nose out of my arse, Abby. You know I can't abide false players. 
Uh, so let me get this straight. What you're saying Ooh. is that you lack the basic human decency to understand another person's struggle, yeah? Shut up, Toby. <laughs> There are other people in the world beside you. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we here for Hilda the Fisherwoman's birthday? Well, no, but... Toby, let me stop you there. Is the next thing you're going to say a question? An actual question? The kind of thing you'd get in a quiz? I've got a different scenario about mating turtles. No, I'm sorry, Toby, you've had your chance. I am you're done. doing a... Another disaster? Why do I even bother? I try to do something nice, something selfless for this family. I know, Mum. I know, Mum. Is that your total contribution? Christ, Abby, oh, let me get a word in. Wait, wait, huh? Mum, I, I need to tell you something. Something really bad has happened to Uncle Marcus. I'm not interested. No, but he's... The man's a liar, Abby. I always hoped you wouldn't fall for it, and perhaps I should have done something when you were younger, but it wasn't easy for me, either. After your father died, I thought, oh, if you want to turn to Uncle Marcus and not me, perhaps I should let you. Either you'd realise what it was like, or... Mum, what are you talking about? You really don't see it, do you? He's paranoid, Abby. Deceitful, always painting himself as the good guy, the victim. A few years ago, he thought a business partner was trying to kill him. He was sent all these threatening emails. Anonymous emails. Wouldn't surprise me if Marcus was the one writing them. What? He went mad. He bought a gun, he bought a guard dog. It was all bullshit. Completely in his head. No, I, I, don't, I don't understand. He... It's all an act. That doesn't work. Don't get sucked in. Kid, we need to talk. Abby, please, please. Here it comes, my favorite line. If we had more time, I'm I could explain. Dying. You said this was real. It is real. How can I trust you? How can I trust anything that you say now? I'm not paranoid. Some guy was making threats. It wasn't in my head. Oh, okay, so maybe I took the threats a little too seriously, but how was I supposed to know? <laughs> how was I supposed to know he wasn't gonna follow through? How was I supposed to know that? As far as I was concerned, the guy was nuts. And then June got a hold of it, Abby, and the whole thing got twisted. And I, I, I don't know why I didn't tell you. I don't know. I, 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 I didn't want to scare you. So why are you telling me this time? This time? Abby? It just doesn't make any sense. You you tell me the story that someone's tried to kill you, and now, now I find out that you've done this before. This is not the same. Uh, how? Abby, I'm fucking dying! Last <laughs> 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 Look, Abby, you either trust me or you don't. And if you don't, then this whole thing is done. And you're never going to know the whole story. Is that what you want? Is that what you want, Abby? Just know this. I'm the only person in this family that would never fucking lie to you. I trust him. Huh. I believe you. You don't know how much I needed to hear that, Abby. Especially with how I'm feeling right now. Okay, so listen, I think I managed to get some useful stuff from Mum. Are you okay? How many spiders do you see on my hand? What? Just answer the question. I, 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 I don't see any spiders. Fuck. Shit, did you see that? No, I, I, I'm I... crowed here. Ah! Gone from my eye. I, I, I can't see anything. For the watch. There's nothing there. Are you sure? Yeah. The hallucinations have started then. Doc says once I start seeing things, you can count how long I have left in minutes.
Time to bail. I better get back in there then. Wait. I'm sorry. I don't think I'm going to be able to help you much longer. <coughs> Uncle Mark. <coughs> <coughs> I am. I always play nicely. I'm a delight. Fuck! I forgot who was who! Hi, Toby. What was that? Uh, me? No, I thought I heard something outside the van. <sighs> I think we're okay. You can't be too careful with these militias. No. Of course not. Okay, everybody, respectfully shut up and listen to me. Question one. How many times did Toby tell the school counsellor that I was neglecting Oh, him God, here we so go. So that we'd be forced into another family therapy session and he could get to see his dickhead father. I know this sounds bad, but I only had the idea after she actually neglected me. I told the counsellor that Mum forgot to cook me tea because she was so drunk, which was the truth. And he organised the first session. I mean, if she'd just let me see Dad in the first place, I wouldn't have had to lie about the rest. What happened to Uncle Marcus at the meeting? Just tell me everything. Why are you asking me? Ask your sister. She was the only one I saw alone with him, OK? She was putting something in his hand. I don't know what, but he looked pretty uncomfortable. So... For those of you that venture to answer, the correct answer is six times. All because I wouldn't let him see the man who cheated on me, who cheated on us for seven years. She's really gone over the edge. Question two. How many of my boyfriends has Felicity stolen? Now, I'm going to make it easier for you. Let's just count the ones while we were at school. <laughs> Jesus! Our oh, mums are a nightmare, aren't they, Abs? I mean, that's why I'm so glad I had my dad. You know, he helped balance me out. He gave me my moral compass. Wasn't he done for tax fraud? Everyone makes mistakes, Abby. Dad was always there for me when I really needed him. Mm. You know, apart from that 18 months, of course. But he was better than a lot of dads I can think of. Well... Some of you clearly think very highly of Flick and rather less of me. Well, let me tell you. I had oodles of boyfriends. Felicity was just scavenging my scraps, but there were plenty of scraps to scavenge. You've got to think bigger. Did you see anyone else give something to Uncle Marcus? I don't know. Toby, tell me now. Uh, ah, uh, Felicity. I mean, you know, your mum. Yeah, she was um, offering things uh, for him to eat. You know, hors d'oeuvres, canapes, that kind of stuff. And, um, yeah, I think, he, I think he took one in the end just to shut her up. Abby, I need you. What is it? What's the matter? Time's up. Doc says if I take the right antidote now. I might just make it. I can't trust my brain right now, kiddo. I need you to pick one. It's okay, Abby. Whatever happens, happens. Just choose. Please. It's Thallium. If you say so, kid. Ah. <sighs> Chin chin. <laughs> no. Don't you die on me, man. <laughs> Stay with me. Uncle Marcus? I need a medic over here. Be all right, sir. Just remain calm. 
You hear that? You hear that? Nice try. The sound of my vital sense improving. He did it. He did it. He saved me. Oh, shit. Yeah. My potions Holy are part to start for you, traveler. Okay. Now, Abby. Now, why don't you go and finish this thing? I... I can do this. Uh-huh. Well, where the hell have you been? Which one of you did it? Abby, are you okay? Who did it? Abby, explain yourself. You tried to kill him! Who poisoned Uncle Marcus? I don't get it. Who was it? Who wanted to murder Uncle Marcus? Abby, love, calm down. No They one... did, Nan. They, they fucking did. Abby, cut this out now. Who fucking did it? Right, that's enough. I warned you once. You bastards! Hey, kid. I, I, I don't know who did it. I'm... Abby, Abby. I'm so sorry. It's I... okay. You saved me. Abby, you've done enough. Now for the rest of them. This ain't over. Was the door always closed in the background for her? Alright, what the fuck? I'm I'm fucking YouTubing this shit now. Uh Uncle fucking Marcus fucking best ending. I'm not no. True ending. What the fuck? Two hour fucking play walkthrough? Hi, I'm not gonna make the virtual quiz tonight. What yes, the I know it's your birthday and we do it every year. And I realize that it starts in a couple of seconds. Yes, yes, I'm an adult now and I make my own choices. And I shouldn't be petrified of telling my mum how I really feel. Oh, what the fuck? Signal's breaking up. You, this, none of this is worth me doing any serious damage to my voice, not even a mild twinge. Someone else can do their round now. Right. So, here we go. What the f- He failed? What the fuck? I failed in a YouTube video as well. Fine. This fucking tab works. Of course, it gets the true ending. Brute forcing two hours in a row. Yeah. Fucking. Shall I go with. Okay. Is if you never speak to me ever again. Did he say eight miles? Was fucking cocksucker. Everything. Is he really going to live? It was not. Nice. Decide that. So just tell me, okay? I, I like to get up early for for walks. Sometimes, really early, like before the sun comes oh out. Oh my god! No around, but on the morning of the meeting, when I got back, I saw Nan it was just like in my room, just like standing there. And uh, she looked really, really flustered when she saw me. But she was only in there to talk about mum's drinking. Nan. Abby. I need you. It's her. Time's up. Abby, where have you been? 
Oh, she's doing it for attention. Be quiet, June. Nan, we need to talk. What is it, love? I know what you did. I'm lost. You I'm poisoned Uncle break. Marcus. You tried to kill him. Tried? Yeah. He's going to survive. We... we found the antidote in time, so... You can't prove it. You really think that we'd be having this conversation if I couldn't? I know everything. Is he really going to live? Yeah. It's over, Nan. You don't understand. I didn't have a choice. I had to protect the family. That's all this has ever been about. Marcus always knew there was more to the story about his dad. My Eddie. I've got it, chap. But if I'm I a true I... detective. The real murderer is Forson. He even killed Uncle Marcus not once, but two times. Always choosing the wrong answers. Making shit up about sleeping for hours. <laughs> Confess, Mr. Force. The jing is up. No reason it denying it. <sighs> Me and Nan planted together like Bonnie and Clyde. Act. We wouldn't have anything. You wouldn't have anything. Just tell me the truth. Tell me everything, Nan. He was going to leave us. My Eddie. He was going to leave me, your Auntie June, your mother. He was going to cut us off. I heard him planning it with her, his other woman. I tried to talk him out of it, but he wouldn't listen. I had to stop him. I had two little girls, Abby. They needed a home, they needed money. We, we deserved it. My I hit him over the head. We it was deserved. nothing but rage. I don't know if I even wanted to kill him. Maybe I did. One blow was enough. I panicked. You've got to understand, I was only thinking of your mother, of your Auntie June. So you killed their father. He was going to take everything from a us. A blow of what? Where is Grandad? I, I weighted him down and pushed him into the lake. That bloody fishing lake he loved so much. He let us play in that lake. I told the girls <laughs> and Marcus the same story. Oh, that's right. That he killed himself. We told everyone else that he'd gone missing, the fishing accident. We had to protect the family name. The past few years, Marcus has been obsessed with finding the truth for that damn autobiography he's writing. But if he found out, everything I did to protect this family would be for nothing. When your sister told me about Bradley's poisons, <laughs> I nearly laughed. It was so simple. I took them both on the morning of the meeting and waited for my chance. Your Auntie June's ever so clumsy, particularly when you give her a little shove in the back. She dropped that candle straight onto Marcus. <laughs> it went better than I'd planned. Don't smash it. Okay, don't smash it. I, I was hoping for a distraction to get it into his drink, but your mum picked it up and threw it over him. I rushed to the first aid box and poured the poison onto the wound dressing. I, I don't know which poison I actually used. It was the only one I could get the lid off. You'd think in this day and age they'd make things like that easier for people with arthritis, wouldn't you? Bradley had told Lottie that the poisons were slow-acting but deadly. So, when I watched Marcus walk out of your Auntie June's house with that dressing still on his hand, I knew it was over. At least I thought I did. Seems Marcus isn't that easy to kill after all. Thanks to you. Oh my God. Don't think I don't regret everything I did. 
I've lived with the pain of it every day since. Since yesterday? That's why I've kept this. What? Fuck so I'd never about? forget what I did. What I did to him. That's what you used to kill. Granddad, no one ever noticed the dark stain on the base. I loved him so much. I know Marcus will never forgive me, but it wasn't just me and the girls Eddie was leaving, it was Marcus too. Every time Eddie looked at Marcus, all he could see was Marcus's mother. He loved her more than he ever loved me. But it was Marcus who drove him away. That's, that's why he had to move and start again. I, I know Marcus will never believe me, but if I didn't do what I did, he would have nothing to. Hey, Abby. I have to go. Abby? Wait. Abby. Oh my God, are you okay? I just talked to the doctor. She said it's gonna take a long time before I feel like myself again, but I am going. But I don't understand how are you supposed to know the poison? She explains the poison uh, when you come when you interrogate her, right? You just literally gonna fucking one three that shit to live because of you. <laughs> You're not gonna believe this, but Nan. She just confessed to everything. She did? <laughs> Damn, I wish I had that on tape. We've got a lot of evidence, but what we need is irrefutable proof. I know what we can do. What? We need to search the lake. Dad's lake? Why? What's in there? Jesus, that's where she put him. So she really did it. Sorry. Hey, listen, don't apologize, Abby. You found the truth. Now, look, I am going to send you some money. Book the first flight out of there you can. Come see me. You're not going to want to be around them for this next little bit. There's one last thing I need to do. Uh -huh. Just tell us what she said, Mum. I can tell you. Abby. These are the last words I'm going to say to... Any of you? No. Oh, what makes you think we give a flying monkey's rat's Auntie off? June, let's start with you. I know that you've been through a lot in your life, and I might even feel sorry for you if you weren't such a vindictive, cruel bully. I've always wanted to say this to you. Oh, I that was really harsh. Hate you. I, I hate you. Hey, Abs, that is not cool. Okay. Toby, how nice of you to volunteer to go next. What can I say about you? Nothing, because there is nothing to you. You are a self-obsessed personality vacuum and a parasite. You follow tragedy around the globe and still somehow manage to make it about you. Like if, if I lost my entire village to a devastating earthquake, you would still be the worst thing to ever happen to me. And Bradley, I might as well complete the set. You, well, you're not actively terrible, but you just really, really creep me out. Thanks. Abby, I don't know what you think. Mum, I spent my whole life trying to live up to whatever it was that you expected from me, but the truth is you never wanted anything from me. You just, you wanted to be better than me. I think just so that no matter what, you could tell yourself that I will never be good enough for you. I wish I had the courage to say this a long time ago. Fuck you. Oh. Oh my god, Abby. Oh god, am I next? Lottie, you're messed up and really shallow. Really, really shallow. But I don't think it's entirely all your fault. So just give me some time and I'll I'll text you. Okay. Awesome. And by the way, Nan is a murderer. I'll let her fill you in on the details. Nan? Wait, what? I'm not she talking about. Um, What's going on? Don't worry, I know a good lawyer. Surely she will confess. Do I get a speech too? 
Listen, just don't go getting yourself poisoned again, okay? Oh my god! I'll take that. I like this new Abby. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> no proof. I guess the body at the lake. If it's still there, when well, she was quite old, so probably not in a fucking lake, maybe bones. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Uh, that was fucking pog. Pog. Who sent the email threat? Yeah, that must have been fucking Nan. But I was like. What the fuck? I don't fucking know, dude. I'm fucking... I am brain dead. I am fucking brain dead. Uh, 